What up, YouTube? This is JT, and uh, this is going to be a prediction video for the Chris Ariola and Deontay Wilder WBC heavyweight title fight tonight. And um, this one sucks, man, because these are two of uh, my favorite uh, people, man, you know, because uh, I've met both of these guys. I've kicked it with both of these guys. Two cool cats, man, especially Ariola. He's from here in Southern California. He's a cool cat, man. A lot of people don't know, man. You know, uh, <laughs> a lot, uh, he kicks it with a lot of, uh, a lot of niggas, man. <laughs> Ariola, cool, funny cat, dude. But yeah, man, um, uh, but you know, this is boxing and, uh, you know, someone has to win, someone has to lose. Uh, reports are that Ariola is actually training hard, you know, look good in training and is in decent shape. Even though this fight is pretty much on a late notice, man. You know, um, Deontay Wilder, you know, he's coming off of, uh, he's coming off of a, a fight that got totally scrapped with, Cheap Nash Pavekin. You know, you have convicted crackheads, you know, who come on YouTube. They they make excuses for Pavekin, man, as if, you know, they turn around and blame Wilder for a fight where a guy who got popped for cheating, the fight got scrapped because he got popped and they still blame Wilder. So, I mean, it's just a lot of bias, you know, sick fucks in, in, in boxing, period. You know, um, you know, and that's why boxing is what it is, man. You got these clowns, you know, these fangirl little pee bane smut queers on YouTube. You know, they make all these videos and, uh, you know, constantly bring down every fight, constantly talk bad about fighters who are on top, constantly hating on fighters and constantly man defending foreign fighters and you know it's just it's a bunch of homo shit man like dude you know this fight right here chris Ariola and deontay wilder is i see a solid fight you know um we know one thing that one thing with chris Ariola, he always comes to fight you know he's a you know a tough guy he never gives up He's not going to lay down after a couple punches and, and get knocked out. But we never know, man. We know Deontay Wilder has vicious, vicious, and brutal power in both hands. So, how I see this fight going, I see Ariola coming forward. Um, you know, with Ariola's last few fights, he hasn't looked very good, man. The fight with Fred Cassie, I thought he lost that fight. And, um, you know, it's just been, you know... Uh, he hasn't looked that good. Um, I expect Deontay Wilder to uh, knock out Chris Ariola, man. Probably in between uh, six or seven rounds. You know, Ariola's going to put up a fight. You know, a lot of people, you know, watched a fight with him and Stavern, man. And uh, he was putting a lot of pressure on Stavern. I actually had him winning the fight with Stavern. Up until a point he got hit with a counter shot. But Stavern is a counter puncher. It's a different, you know. Deontay Wilder wants to keep you on the outside. Keep you on the end of his jab. And land a big right hand. So we'll just see how this plays out. But I got Deontay Wilder stopping Chris Ariola in seven. And uh, with Ariola putting up a, a great account for itself. But eventually getting knocked the fuck out by Deontay Wilder. Just like that cheating bitch alexander pavetkin he would have got the same treatment but more viciously and more brutal in front of all his hometown fans man but anyway man it's the young boy jt i'm out